Young stellar object YSO denotes a star in its early stage of evolution. This class consists of two groups of objects, protostars and pre-main sequence stars. Topic: <laughs> Classification by spectral energy distribution. A star forms by accumulation of material that falls into a protostar from a circumstellar disk or envelope. Material in the disk is cooler than the surface of the protostar, so it radiates at longer wavelengths of light producing excess infrared emission. As material in the disk is depleted, the infrared excess decreases. Thus, YSOs are usually classified into evolutionary stages based on the slope of their spectral energy distribution in the mid-infrared, using a scheme introduced by Lada 1987. He proposed three classes, I, two and three, based on the values of intervals of spectral index alpha display style alpha alpha equals d log lambda f lambda d log lambda display style alpha equals frac d log lambda f underscore lambda d log lambda here lambda display style lambda is wavelength and f lambda display style f underscore lambda is flux density. The alpha display style alpha is calculated in the wavelength interval of 2.2 to 20 mu m display style mu m near and mid infrared region. Andre et al. 1993 discovered a class 0 objects with strong submillimeter emission but very faint at lambda 10 mu m display style lambda green et al 1994 added a fifth class of flat spectrum sources class 0 sources undetectable at lambda 20 mu m display style lambda class 1 sources have alpha greater than 0.3 display style alpha greater than 0.3 flat spectrum sources have 0.3 greater than alpha greater than minus 0.3 display style 0.3 greater than alpha greater than minus 0.3 class 2 sources have minus 0.3 greater than alpha greater than minus 1.6 display style minus 0.3 greater than alpha Alpha greater than minus 1.6 class 3 sources have alpha minus 1.6 display style alpha this classification schema roughly reflects evolutionary sequence it is believed that most deeply embedded class 0 sources evolve towards class 1 stage dissipating their circumstellar envelopes eventually they become optically visible on the stellar birth line as pre-main sequence stars Class II objects have circumstellar disks and correspond roughly to classical T Tauri stars, while Class III stars have lost their disks and correspond approximately to weak line T Tauri stars. An intermediate stage where disks can only be detected at longer wavelengths, e.g., at 24 mu m, are known as transition disk objects. Topic characteristics YSOs are also associated with early star evolution phenomena, jets and bipolar outflows, masers, herbig haro objects, and protoplanetary disks circumstellar disks or proplides. Topic classification of YSOs by mass These stars may be differentiated by mass, massive YSOs, intermediate mass YSOs, and brown dwarfs. Topic. See also Bach globule Topic References Topic External Links Media related to young stellar objects at Wikimedia Commons <laughs>